Good morning, everyone. It's Sue here. I am decided to share um, what I've done so far for my September scrapbook, um, which has both Project Life pages and 12 by 12 pages. Um, I'm actually headed to the doctor in a couple of hours, and that's weighing so heavy on my mind, I figure, let me... Um, let me do this and, and get my mind off of going to the doctors. Um, they did a blood test last week and nothing major, but um, I'm, I'm convinced that I have low thyroid, which really affects so much. It really affects everything in your body. And that's one reason why I haven't really been doing as many videos as I used to. Um, only because I just don't have the energy. I just don't have the energy. So I'm actually forcing myself um, um, to do this video because I really just rather go lay down. But, um, you know, I love scrapbooking and I love doing videos. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with it. So hopefully it's okay. I'm going to do a few pages. Um, this first page that I'm going to share with you, um, I just wanted to mention for a minute, you know, I started scrapbooking, or not scrapbooking, do Project Life November of last year, so almost a year now. And at that point in time, I purchased a whole bunch of different styles of the page protectors. And this particular style where it has the three, four by six vertical, um, horizontal going down, and then the two vertical, four by six on the side leaving that 2 by 12 inch um, you know, uh, spot on the side, um, that particular page protector. This is, I used up my last one, so it's kind of, it's kind of exciting to me. This is, this is the one that I just finished up, so I'm going to have to go purchase some more of these. Um, and I just wanted to share that out of all the different pages, I guess um, I use this one a lot. So I'm going to go purchase some more of those and stock up again. And what I do for the side over here, since it's 2 by 12, which is, you know, not how many, you know, I don't know. I don't have a lot of 2 by 12 pieces of paper hanging out. So what I do is, you know, like this paper, this paper right here in this particular um, slot, it was a 4 by 6. Um, from one of my 4 by 6 pads. So what I did was I took um, a lot of my, I mean a 6 by 6 pad, sorry. So what I did was I went and I took um, several of my 6 by 6 pads and I cut them down, cutting 2 inches off so that I would have, you know, 4 by 6 um, pieces to put in the slots. And so that left a lot of 2 by 6 um, leftovers, scraps. So I just take, I look at the colors in the in the page that I'm working on and I pick out two pieces that go well with the colors and I just use them and I usually attach them with a piece of washi tape like I did right here and just so I can use them up, right? Sometimes I'll put, you know, embellish these a little bit, sometimes I don't. So the first um, picture up here is my granddaughter Madison. It's her first day going to um, Brown Bears, which is preschool. And um, so that's Madison and my daughter heading off to school for the first time. I, I covered up the name of the school here, so that's what that is. Um, but like this um, journaling card back here was from... Oh my goodness, it's a, it's a Becky Higgins. I forget exactly which kid it's from. And then I have these um, flair for the whole year. And I got those from JW's Jazzy Buttons on Etsy. So that's the first slot over there. And I have my wood veneer. And I have um, Be the Best You Can Be. And a little crayon sticker. And over here in this slot, so this is a picture of Madison and my bird Maui. He's a green cheek conure, and he's a he's baby. Right here, he's about 14 weeks old, and he's about four months now. So I've had him for a few weeks, 
And what I did was, even though this picture is a 4x6, um, I did cut it down slightly, but um, I took a frame. So this is a frame made by... Uh, let's see, this one is by Pink Paisley. And I put it over the picture, even though it didn't cover the whole picture. I am fine with that. I, I love that look, actually. And um, so it really focuses in on her face and on Maui. Um, and his name is Maui because he's from Hawaii. And I live in New Jersey, so that's pretty far away. But anyways, um, and then there's uh, some of the... Um, oh, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't think of the name of them. That's terrible. You know what they are. I don't have to tell you. Um, and a flower from Recollections at Michael's. And this paper here, it actually has books on it. This was also from a 6 by 6 pad that I cut down. Um, and this here that says Perfect, um, you know, it's a transparency sheet that I got from, I want to say, I don't know, from a kit, some kit. And it's a 12 by 12 sheet. And I cut down um, all of the words um, so that they were individual. And so I used that there. And in this particular um, slot right here. Um, so this is just a piece of paper um, that I cut down from a 6x6 six six pad. This I got from Michael's. It's just a little tag. And over here, this is actually a sticker on here. And it has words on it. And here's a journaling card. Again from, it's got to be from Becky Higgins. Uh, I forget where. And then I put some of the enamel dots, that's what they're called, enamel dots on here, and a little heart. And then over here, this um, was special to me. I, I wanted to put something on here for Madison for going to school, um, preschool. And, you know, when kids are, are small, they're great, right? They have such great imaginations, and a lot of times they have no fear, and... You know, and we lose that sometimes as we get older. So I just cut this down. This was on a bigger, it was probably a 3 by 4 card. And I just put on here, always believe, create, and be you. And then down here was another card. And it says, and it said, reach for the stars. And I wrote in, and reach for the stars. So I always believe create and be you and reach for the stars. So I, I hope that she always, always is like that, like she is right now. And then this last um, slot right here, um, this particular card right here, this orange one that says September, gosh, was that from Becky Higgins? Probably. I think that's from the seasons, um, Becky Higgins. And then I put um, a sticker back here because it's a, her special day. It was a Tuesday. Um, here's the date. Uh, this is, this little embellishment right here is from a bag of bits um, from Lily B Design. And then uh, my daughter and Madison walking to the car. And then the back of this um, So this was <laughs> this was her second day of school. For whatever reason, her first day she was a little fussy, maybe all the excitement and whatever. And I just wrote here that much happier today. So she's smiling. I have keep smiling. I have washi. I have another frame here. This particular frame is from Trendsetter um, Fancy Pants. So that's from that one. Um, and a sticker here. And this is just a solid uh, 4x6 card from We Are Memory Keepers. Then this here was cut down from a 6x6 pad. This is uh, Vintage Bliss by Simple Stories. And I put on um, the Hope, Dream, and Wish. 
and here <laughs> she's uh, very different than the day before but anyways here's another frame from Fancy Pants as well I uh, have Show That Toothy Grin another little crayon sticker I've had these crayon stickers for forever so I'm finally able to get to, to use them back here is a 4x6 card I'm sure from Becky um, and this little circle I got in a kit at one point it says awesome and I stamped on here delightful then down here um, it's just a um, this was also from a pad that I cut down and I just took a a tag and I put some some string that I had I put a little washi on here and then this is from an uh, ephemera pack and this was Wednesday and um, over here so this um, was just me show her showing me the um, the backpack that she has and I have Madison's second day in brown bears and I have here spread your wings so that's what I'm going to share today and I hope that you all enjoyed and I will come back with the rest of September God bless everybody.